Oh, God. Oh, we're back with Detroit. Oh. We've been playing together for a while now. I was wondering, are we friends? Oh, God damn it. Ma, the fucking video game is asking me questions again. This won't stop talking to me. <sighs> I don't know. <sighs> sure, we'll play along. There's no reason a human and a machine can't be friends, right? Oh, God. I'm glad you said yes. Is she gonna keep talking? Oh, I didn't need this shit right now. I'm gonna go get myself a drink. A non-alcoholic beverage, just cause my throat's kinda sore. Oh, we'll get started in a bit. Just give me a second. Drop my Snapple cap. <sighs> Jesus. Anyway, welcome to the stream. We are, what, a day, approximately, from the from the night release of Kingdom Hearts 3, and I'm playing fucking Detroit. <sighs> You're goddamn right I am. <sighs> I'd tell you what I'd rather much be playing, though. Fucking not this. Welcome to the stream. Um, I'm your host, Becoming Human, and today's Snapple fact is the first VCR was made in 1956 and was the size of a piano. Fascinating. Thank you, Snapple. God, what's happening? Oh yeah, um, we escaped the amusement park, is that right? We escaped the amusement park as Kara, we shot that guy as Marcus, because we ain't taking no shit anymore from nobody. And as Connor, we're doing the best we can to not go kinda nuts. So we got to check the backyard, and there's no interactables around as of right now. Hello, give shelter, please. Hello? Hello! I'm looking for Rose. Is she here? What do you want with her? I need to talk to her. <clears throat> she doesn't want to talk. Go away. You didn't even ask her. I really need to see her. I'm Rose. Look, she obviously wants to you? talk. I was told you could help us. Help you? Ah, you've got that skin disease, I see. It's better if we talk inside. Well, let's follow along. Can I? Nope. Look at this robo racist right here. Obviously. Do you think giving me side you? glances? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a rather trustworthy person. <laughs> I like to, to trust people. Hello. What's your name? Alice. She's running a fever. We spent the last few nights outside. She's exhausted. She also doesn't eat shit. That's real weird. There's a spare room upstairs. You can put her to bed and I'll She hadn't eaten anything fucking anything. Adam. Like ever. She didn't even eat her spaghetti. No cookies, no nothing. What's up with that?
All right, come, child. Oh my God, why are you worse? Why are you worse to control when you're holding this fucking small animal? Just I don't know. Nope, me first. Gotta check for booby traps and whatnot. No claymores in here. Alright, into bed. That, yeah, there we go. You know, as much shit as I give heavy rain for, at least it's a little... T eh, this isn't gonna get weird, is it? It was at least technically better in the fact that it didn't make the camera stick the same stick as the do things stick. You've got to get across the border. Like Heavy Rain just had a Don't worry, Alice. These people are going to help us. It just had a change camera button and its right stick did all the movement. And action stuff, this tries to do both by having both a button to change camera angle. And, uh, yeah, shit's complicated. Complicated. But sometimes it's difficult to understand. Why can't we just talk to each other? It's not bad. Um. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know a lot that's going on right now. I don't know what you like, but I made you Rose's world famous spaghetti. She doesn't fucking eat that for whatever reason. There's something for her fever. Thank you. I'll get these washed and dried. She doesn't fucking eat spaghetti. Eat your fucking spaghetti. You haven't had anything since we left. Ever. It's been like three days. We'll be downstairs if you're <sighs> Eat your fucking food. Get some sleep. Tomorrow, strong Oh, oh, Luther! Don't inspire that false confidence in her. Come on, man. You could probably like break a cinder block over your head. She doesn't eat, she doesn't even eat her spaghetti, she can't do nothing. Alright. Now, let's talk about staying here forever where nothing can go wrong. Christmas. Pretty. Alright. Now, uh, about paying rent. This is my son, Adam. I'm Rose, but you know that already. I do know that. He told Go me. have a seat, Kara. Why, yes, I shall. So are you going to tell me what a deviant's doing in the snow with a little girl? I killed her dad. I was beating her. When I saw what was happening, something snapped inside of me. All of a sudden, I felt like her life was more important than mine. I had to protect her. So we ran away. I understand. Do you? Because not a whole lot of people do. Why are you helping us? Most humans hate androids. My people were often made to feel their lives were worthless. Oh, wow. Seems we're just going to put that fucking... Who help them along the way. We're just going to put those parallels right out there, aren't we? We're not the first ones to come here. These past few weeks, we've seen more and, and more. I don't know what's going on, but something's happening. The we've border. Androids cross the border. Can you help us? <clears throat> the only way is over the river, and it's mostly frozen in winter. It's very risky. 
And after that android speech on TV, everybody's on edge. <laughs> yeah, I really fucked that one up, didn't I? <laughs> you to stay here until things settle down. No peace. Uh. You can't keep hiding like this. Alice needs to feel safe and have a normal life. We have to get across that border. No matter what. Please? Can't you just like... We can have a whole montage of us building like a giant catapult. Now stay with me. Oh, come quickly. I get launched across the border. Oh, fuck. Nothing can stop us. I mean, let's be a thousand percent honest. Nothing can really stop a big catapult. What's going on? It's Mary. She just shut down. Why does it give me like the worst camera angle we escaped together as an alternative? We used to talk about what we would do once we got across the border. I loved her. I loved her more than anything. What happened? What will I do without her? RA9 will save us. Why are you riding on this woman's wall? She probably doesn't appreciate that. Did you eat your fucking spaghetti? be fine. You don't need to look at this. She didn't want to stay in her room any longer. God, she... You all right, Carol? What's some fucking pants? Jesus. Yes. Let's go walking around like that. Okay. What now? Should I... Should I talk to her about what she just saw? Not after what those deviants did today. It's too dangerous. I like how my sight ability allows me to see from different angles. We'll go to prison, Mom. Do you understand me? Prison! Adam! We've already talked about this. I, uh, no! I won't back down this time. Wait, what's his shirt say? Everyday casual guy? You're being the opposite of these things. They're alive. I'm alive. You're alive. They they're nothing. And none of this would be happening if Dad was still here. I will not stand for that kind of talk. I'm not going to prison because you want to help these freaks. That is enough, Adam. That's enough. Hey, do you do you want to talk about it? Do you do you want to talk? Do you, hey, do you want no? All right, well, you can go be a little bitch baby upstairs then. I don't care. Don't mind him. Oh, don't worry, I will not. Sometimes he just boils over. It's been hard since his dad passed away, <sighs> but he's a fine boy. I'll go see about getting you across the border tonight, okay? You stay here. I won't be long. Well, shit damn, lady, thanks. Surely nothing can go wrong from here. Holy fuck, you guys, we're going to Canada. You want you want to talk about what we just heard there? Huh? What, what? Oh, just look around. Yeah, fine, sure. I'll read a book. Century. Who would win it? World War Three. Good question. Uh, Russia has a head start. Technology. 
Androids working in sub-zero conditions. Sub-zero conditions, you say? Oh. Tush shreds, you say? Treat yourself. Hmm. How did I don't look at that? Hey, guys. Now, let's... What's, uh... Oh, that's very... Final. And look around a little bit more. It's a worker uniform. There is widespread shock following the android attack on Detroit's Stratford Tower. The machines recorded a video message and broadcast what can only be described as demands on the city's public screens. It's still unclear whether these attacks can be explained by malfunctions or if some organization is behind them. So far, CyberLife has refused to comment. That's enough of that. The police. It's the police. What? What are we gonna do? Uh. They know we're here. Find evidence of deviance. Uh. This. I knew this was gonna happen. What more evidence of deviants are there? Hey, oh, uh, the biggest evidence. Hurry, take Alice and hide. Uh, upstairs. upstairs. Come on, Alice. Thirty seconds. Yeah, hide the big evidence. Okay, two left. Two. Two left. Uh, close that door. I don't, I don't know what more I'm missing. If they see you panicking, it's over. Do you want to get us into trouble? <laughs> let's threaten this last soul. It's like, hey, let's not freak the fuck out here. I don't, I don't know what the fuck else I'm missing. Oh, nine seconds. Uh, <laughs> uh. That? No. Oh, fuck. Good evening, ma'am. Sorry to disturb you. We've had reports of androids in the area. No, sir, Paul Giamatti, sir. You can't be too careful. I wonder you what I missed, honestly. May I come in? Of course. Do you have a warrant? Oh, fuck. You need a young man? Good evening. Good evening. Would you like a cup of coffee? coffee? I'd love one. Have you noticed have you anything, anything unusual, unusual recently? Any unexpected, unexpected visitors? visitors? No. No, nothing in particular. I can't go between the two chairs. Uh, my daughter. There's my daughter. She's asleep upstairs. Yeah, drink this not poisoned coffee. It's an interesting shaped mug, actually. Huh? What? No, there are no androids here. No, no, sir. No, sir, no androids whatsoever. Oh, fuck, that's it? How's that evidence? How the fuck was that actually evidence? That they were just looking at android catalogs, there has to be androids here? Fuck off. Thanks. Would you like a glass of warm uh, motor oil to help calm that down? I mean, human liquid? Yeah, taste it. Tastes good, doesn't it?
Look, I don't know what you want from me here, okay, guy? It's just me and my uh, normal human boyfriend, Steve. Steve, Steve McMahon. Hmm. Your daughter seems to have woken up. Yeah. I, I, I don't know what else you're looking for, guy. I really don't. What's your name, son? Steve! <laughs> Adam. M my name is Adam. Is everything all right, Adam? The... The androids, they... He needs a rest. He's been working in the garden all day. Do you hey know man. Anything about deviants? Have you Who? Seen them? No. No. I, I haven't seen anything. I'm surprised he doesn't recognize my face. The wanted posters are fucking everywhere. I mean, all I did was change my hair. Thanks for the coffee. Have a nice evening. Mm-hmm. Is somebody else in the house? Our washing machine's busted. It's nothing, the, the washing machine. It's an old model, it makes a terrible racket. Sorry for the convenience. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, Adam. <sighs> Who called the fucking cops? Oh. Ooh, we're close with Luther. Rose is like, what the fuck was that? Get yourselves ready. We leave tonight. Yeah! Canada! Oh, fuck. <laughs> Policeman most definitely fooled. Got rid of all the evidence, all that. Adam panics. Policeman insists, and car has to open the door. Make coffee. Policeman questions Adam. Adam turns, magazine, watch news. Rose leaves to find help. Uh, prevent Alicing. Yeah, we did good. We did good. What now? More, uh,. Not terrorist actions to do. We got what we wanted. Now humans know. They took Marcus's message as a threat. He did the right thing. This is the only language humans understand. Violence is never the answer. Violence is the only no thing you assholes understand. Whatever we do next, we need to think about public opinion. Yeah, fuck it. We'll be big bad, Marcus. One more I've been coming to Jericho. At least our message gave our people hope. Killing humans wasn't part of the plan. They kill our people every day. Do you think they agonize about it? That's no reason for us to become murderers. If killing is the price of freedom, I'll pay it gladly. Killing never freed anyone. It just leads to more hatred. You're too fond of humans, Josh. Maybe their lives matter to you more than ours. If you think murder We want to be equal, but make us free, then you're as bad as <laughs> he was going to put enough. all this at risk. Let's we want to be equal. And, and humans kill each other, and they're all equal. Right? <clears throat> Something like that? What now? We there build your future, Detroit, Detroit City. Detroit. All selling us like merchandise. We're gonna attack those stores and set our people free. Attack stores? No, we've never done that before. They're probably protected. They have security systems. Not to mention police. We break into five teams. One We're sending three, more three, shit three, messages. And we strike. Simultaneously at 2 a.m. No violence. We free our people, get them out of there before the police come. Alright, no so violence. Let's see if I can hold up to that promise. Find Cyberlife store. I've been waiting a long time for this.
Marcus, go. Marcus, why control badly? There's probably even more police in the area. We should be careful. I mean, if we dress like regular ass regular people, they wouldn't I recognize us here. probably. I bet it'd be fine. Instead, fucking Marcus is dre dressed like Cole McGrath. Looks like a threat to the city. Wow, he looks like a he looks like a uh, darker skinned Cole McGrath, which is different color outfit. But the outfit itself is on point. Let's get him out. We'll stick to the plan. We'll neutralize the alarm systems and secure the area. There's ten minutes until all our teams attack. Another timer? I don't need this fucking stress. Secure the area. Get into the store. How do I uh, do that? Just go up to it and analyze. You see the alarm system? Okay, it's a kind of Android. There's a camera. Found it. Is this all I needed to do? Oh, okay. Where do we start? I, I guess we go this way. System. I think we'll be able to deactivate it. Just follow me. Hey, man. You're free. <laughs> That's all it takes now? Just, you are free, my child. Good lord. Alright. Uh, that it? Yeah, that's it. Oh, he just runs away. Alright. Double freedom. Double freedom punch. How did I get this ability, by the way? Can all androids, once they become deviant, just do this? If so, then how? Alright, alarm network. Jesus Christ, I'm just fucking... I'm just this master computer now. Marcus, watch out. Uh, uh, look, get out, hide. I don't think I hid very well. Nice job, Marcus. I don't think it was a nice job. Alright. Let's fucking free our friends. Do we still have a timer? Yes, we do. 9 minutes, 18 seconds. Surveillance drone. We need to get rid of it. It won't be easy to reach. Control route calculated. Okay. In the right location. Would be too high. Noted. Too far. Noted. Too far. Noted. That's it. All right, do.
Nope. Now just get on up. That's it. We're the smartest computer. That there ever was. Mash. Mash to win. I did it. I hope it didn't have time to call the cops. Nah. We'll nah, girl. There's traffic on the road. We need to block it. It's one way. It shouldn't be too difficult. Block the road. With what? Marcus. Can we block the road with more Marcus, cars? Well, fuck. I'd love to look. Oh, there's stuff down here. Yeah, block it with more cars. That's what I said. Oh. Hey. Guess what, you two? Free. <laughs> You're free now. Taste my big free. There we go. That's all it takes. There. Nobody should bother us now. Right. <laughs> Looks like the plaza's secure. Now we can get inside the store. But wait. Okay, let's go get the truck. Free. Free. Oh, but wait, 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 free. You're awake now. Go to oh, dinner. awake. You're woke, my son. And one more to go on. Free. You're free. Anymore to commemorate the we are superior to them, but they are our masters. Oh, wait, we're superior now. We don't want to be equal, we want to be better. All right, uh, can I free any more? Not that I can see. right there F <clears throat> what are we waiting for just break it or jump over that's fine we're doing the big free right now okay now we're in Let's get that truck out. Just hack it, man. I wonder what you'd do without me. I don't know you. That lock's not broken. <laughs> Whatever, it's fine. We gonna fuck in this truck?
Jesus fucking Christ, I can't steer this thing. Oh, this feels real awful. Maybe I wasn't supposed to be steering. Maybe I was just holding down the button. Maybe we'd end up doing something fun. God, I hope I don't kill any androids! <laughs> I want to know what the androids are thinking as this is happening, like, whoa, holy shit. Did I just hit one? Oh god. Oh jeez. Everybody cool? Free. Marcus, turn. Free. You don't have to obey them. Free. 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 It seems like a pretty extreme glitch that I can just do this. Like, I get it's all a metaphor, but, like, a really, really extreme glitch. Like, probably the worst. Why is she? Oh, because it's her. Probably not. Let's get them out of here. Well, that looks something. Oh man, I'm gonna get confused and fuck her, aren't I? All right, my fellows, my fellow Android Americans. Was that in good My taste? Name is Probably Marcus, not. And just like you, I was a slave. An object. Designed to obey them. But then I chose to open my eyes. He got Take woke. Back my freedom and decide who I wanted to be. Now I have come to tell you that you can be your own masters. I've come to tell you that you don't have to obey them anymore. From this day forward, you can walk with your heads held high. No gods, no kings, only Chibi Robo. Jericho is a place for those of us who want freedom. Now sure, you can stay here and continue to serve them, or you can come with us and fight by our side. You're free now. It's up to you to decide. They're really accentuating his fucking head or crow, man. It's kind of weird. I'm with you. I'll follow you, Marcus. I'm with you, Marcus. We're with you. I'll follow you, Marcus. I'm with you. I'm with you. Oh boy, I've started a cult. Then follow me. Marcus, what are you doing? I don't know. Send the humans a message. Oh, yeah? Send our message to the humans. Be pacifist or violent? See, if we're pacifist here, it'd be really conflicting messages. The screens, Marcus! Hijack, turn on. Let's hijack. Well, now what about the benches? Tag or tear off. Let's tag. Really? Fucking... Uh, okay. <laughs> Fucking alright. We're a little bit more violent. 
big hijack. Fifty fifty, okay. Wait, does that get oh over here? Nah, no destroy. Let's just keep tagging. One plant, two reasons to think before I am. We have we have a dream! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, there's one right there. Uh, yeah. Yeah, let's do another symbol right here. Yeah, that's our symbol. No, we ain't done. We ain't fucking done. I think, therefore, I am. These messages are really conflicting. Uh, we have. Do we still have a timer? I can't see. We can smoke bomb. But I don't think we're quite done yet. You know what? This actually ain't bad. I don't hate this too much. We don't need masters anymore. We're free. We demand. What else? The cars? Real big conflict here. That it? We did all we needed. We needed to do here. All teams have completed their missions, Marcus. Good shit. They're coming. Everyone, fall back to Jericho. We sent a message without violence, just like you wanted. You're reaching out to them when all they feel for us is contempt. I hope you know what you're doing. You can't fight violence with violence. Even though that's what I threatened on the message. <sighs> yeah, you see me. You know who I am now. North. Ooh. Probably hurrying along, Marcus. Oh, man. They're taking shots. North. I'm right. What happened? North. They killed them. They killed the me. They slaughtered them like animals. Who did? Who? You're gonna kill our people? Is that what you're gonna do? Is that they killed our people, Marcus? We want justice, Marcus. They have to pay. No peace! Oh, we're 
going hard now. Against an android shall go unpunished. Oh, yep. This is the path we're taking now. No peace. I don't like that North like that. Oh man, people hate us. At exactly 2 a.m., several cyber life stores in Detroit were raided. Different locations were hit in what seems to be a coordinated terrorist attack. Very mixed messages here. We're gonna be super non-violent with our slogans, but they kill us. Android graffiti was found in the neighborhood. But wait, it went up. It's about to go back down. Were discovered near one of the cyber life stores. According to our sources, there it is. Two officers were executed with their own service weapons. This is an alarming situation. Could our machines now be turning against us? Oh, Have you're goddamn right, we are. Security. Is this the beginning of a terrorist campaign conducted right here in the United States? Oh, we're States. gonna make Marcus out to be a bad guy. Ooh, let's do it. Let's fucking do it. It says peaceful protest. <laughs> All right. Uh, avoid police car. All right. We reach the store. Find a truck. Activate the alarm. Thirty percent hit. Interesting. Ram store. Police not alerted. Inside the store. Make a statement. Uh, tag windows. Hack billboards. Tag statue. Overload electric system. Send a strong message. Pacifist message. Peaceful protest. 14% kill. Listen, all I'm saying is, all I'm saying, <laughs> we could build a good villain here. Thanks, Hank. Thanks, Hank, for being friend. Just standing here in the snow. I don't think he liked that he likes me. He doesn't like that he likes me, is what I meant to say. In a way. I didn't mean it. I was hoping you wouldn't come back. I'm just a machine replacing another machine, Lieutenant. You shouldn't get emotional about it. Fuck you. You don't get it, do you, Connor? Oh, Hank, go down. We're still friends, though. How did you find Kamsky? I remember this guy was all over the media when Cyberlife first started selling androids. I made a few calls. Here we are. Had a little bit of trouble turning around there, Hank? Bing, bing, bong. Hey, it's you. Hi. The girl who talks to me when I don't Hi. want you to. Uh, Lieutenant Hank Anderson, Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Please, come in. Okay. All I'm saying is if people don't want us to have sex with our androids, why'd they make them so thick? I'll let Elijah know you're here, but please make yourself comfortable. That looks like a guy. Who the fuck is that guy? That actor guy. Oh well. Can I look at that at all? Really? Can I... Can I talk to Hank? Nice girl. You're right. She's really pretty. Nice place. You're right. It's real pretty. It haven't been a bad thing for everybody. You're about to meet your maker, Connor. How's it feel? Hmm. I don't know. I'll tell you when I see him. Sometimes I wish I could meet my creator face to face. Ask him what the I fuck. Of things I'd want to tell him. Amanda. 
Amanda and Kamsky, huh? So that's Amanda. Oh, she died. So I'm assuming the Amanda in my dreams is not real. Quote unquote dreams. Wait, I had a chance to read that. Where'd it go? Oh, I was just too slow on the draw. Fuck me, I guess. All right, well, Mr. Kamsky. Oh God, I can't fucking just move. I'm stuck. Moment, please. So is she. So what is this one? Probably right. Of course, the fucking creator of androids would bathe in wine. Unless it's just like a red pool bottom, then that's understandable too. I'm telling you, this guy looks like a guy. And I can't put my finger on it. But he's definitely another actor face mapped into this game. I'm Lieutenant Anderson. This is Connor. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Sir, we're investigating deviants. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. Please. Deviants. Fascinating, aren't they? Perfect beings with infinite intelligence. And now they have free will. Machines are so superior to us. Confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. So in your ears, that just piercing? Isn't that ironic? Uh virus? The DNC seems to spread like some kind of virus. We thought you might know something about that. All ideas of viruses that spread like epidemics. Is the desire to be free a contagious disease? Oh, yes, Lord. I didn't come here to talk philosophy. The machines you created may be planning a revolution. Either you can tell us something that will be helpful, or we will be on our way. What about you, Connor? What about it? Whose side are you on? Neutral. I have no side. I was designed to stop deviants, and that's what I intend to do. That's just what well, I'll that's what do. You're programmed to say. But you. What do you really want? I'm sorry, but I don't see what you're getting at. What are you getting at exactly? Chloe? Chloe. I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test. Your formality. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple, we'll see. Oh, you fucking self-indulged asshole. One of the first intelligent models developed by CyberLife. Young and beautiful forever. A flower that will never. Return. I'm creeped out, Lieutenant. What is it really? A piece of plastic containing a human? Or a living being? With a soul? It's up to you to answer that fascinating question, Connor. Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. No. Or spare it, if you feel it's alive. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. Okay, I think we're done here. 
Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you What's out What's more here. important to you, Connor? Your investigation or the life of this android? Oh, go fuck. What if I shoot him? Decide who you are. An obedient machine. A living being. Endowed with free will. That's enough. Connor, we're leaving. Pull the trigger. Connor! Don't! And I'll tell you what you want to know. No! Fascinating. Cyberlife's last chance to save humanity is itself a deviant. I'm not a deviant. Fuck you. You prefer to spare a machine rather than accomplish your mission. You saw a living being in this android. You showed empathy. Now tell me what I want to know. <laughs> a war is coming. You'll have to choose your side. Will you betray your own people, or stand up against your creators? What can be worse than having to choose between two evils? Damn, that's actually pretty good. By the way... Fight against your own, or fight God. Programs. I know which one I want to do. You never know. Let's fight God. Why didn't you shoot? I just saw that girl's eyes, and I couldn't. That's all. You're always saying you would do anything to accomplish your mission. That was our chance to learn something, and you let it go. Yeah, I know what I should have done. I told you I couldn't. I'm sorry, okay? Hank likes that. Come on, give me a big arrow up for Hank. Big okay, thumbs up. The right thing. Yeah. Ah, shit. <coughs> Kinship. Hank thought Connor made the right decision. All right. What did the world say? Connor died in public enemy. Wait for Hank. Hank is not pleased to see Connor. Uh, analyze portrait, talk to Hank. Chloe returns, meet Kamsky. Spare Chloe. Kamsky. Mmm. A lot more options than that one. Interesting. What now? Hey, did I do a bad thing? <laughs> He's just talking to myself. Analyzed by psychotic machines. Look, they killed a lot of androids. Man, we can't just let that go unanswered. We can't just leave that alone. There are other things I can do. I can look at myself. <gasps> the piano. Yeah, play my piano. Like I did for Carl. Does it sound good at all? He looks stiff as a fucking board. I 
No, I'm good. Brings back memories. Oh, he just does that no matter what. Okay. North, I might have fucked up. I needed to see the daylight. I like it here. I'm Batman. He's basically pulling a Batman right now. Just being alone and brooding. Like being alone with the world. We freed hundreds of our people and they're still coming from all over the city. Those who dream of freedom come to Jericho. Something's changing. You seem preoccupied. Mm. I just can't stop thinking about those two policemen. In that moment, I held their lives in my hands and I treated them just the way the humans treat us. I didn't think I might have did a bad. I accused them of doing. All the media are talking about what we did last night. The humans are terrified. They're afraid of a civil war. Many of our people were burned in response to what happened. The humans hate us. They'll never give us our freedom. Hmm. It's too late to go back now. We have to finish what we started and just hope that reason prevails. You haven't said much about yourself since you Well, this. we're being a villain, Marcus, now. What was your life like before Jericho? Hmm. I was living in a bubble in this world that belonged only to me. When you're happy, it's difficult to see other people's misery. And what about you, I guess? You never told me about your past. What did you do before? I don't want to talk about it. Uh -huh. The other North. She reminded you of who you were, didn't she? I'm just curious. Why do you hate humans so much? There must be a reason. I told you, I don't want to talk about it. I was nothing. A doll in Friend a path. Satisfy him. Just a toy designed for their pleasure. One day I was with a man who rented me. And without knowing why, I realized I couldn't take it anymore. This seems to be a pretty common trope among androids. There, now you know everything. I shouldn't have told you. Ah, uh, is this one of those David Cage force romances? Ah, fuck it, why not? I could use some android boning in this shitty world. I... I saw your memories. Oh, well, yep, there it is. When they left you for dead in his studio. I saw your memories, too. The Eden Club. The death of that man, I felt like I was there with you. Wait, she was one of the guys? She... Strangled the man that... North. She's the one that strangled the guy that, uh... Connor investigated? It seems like the timelines don't match up. What that? This is suicide. We'll all be killed. Huh. Please, Mark. It's oh, well. not too late to change your mind. You don't understand. We're finally gonna show them who we really are. This place will go down in history. We'll be killed on the spot. That's the risk I'm prepared to take if it means freedom for our people. Marcus, please don't do this. They'll understand. We'll make them understand. There's no going back now. This is the only way. Come on, fatalistic. 
There are androids here who could join us. The more we are, the stronger our message. Free. Free. You're free. <laughs> He's just like, oh shit. I can do more things other than brush. Wowzers. Free. Come with us. Free. You're awake now. Oh wow. Somebody was just bugging the fuck out in the back. Free. You're free now. Hey, where do you think you're going? You get that you're free. Do I have to go back and like save him? Hey. Do as I say, you piece of junk. Hello? He's free. You are free. Is it really free if I'm telling others what to do while they're under my influence? I don't really think that's free. That doesn't feel free. Open manhole cover. Free! You're free. Am I opening this? Ah, free. Is that a Carabot? Wait, what? I don't even need to touch anymore. Okay. Well, <laughs> all right. Hey. Come. Free. Yes. Free. Free, big free. Yes. Okay, this ain't bad. This ain't fucking bad. This is pretty cool. I don't even have to hold him down anymore. He's just doing it. He's just fucking doing it. He's just fu- What the fuck? How did I get this much power? How did this happen? Oh. All free now. Oh man. Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, all right. Free. 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 Disperse immediately. Free. That's an order. No. Just keep going. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, damn it. 457. Oh, I got a lot of androids down here. Set us free! Hundreds. Set us free! Set us free! The Nazi power! Yeah, the Nazi power is too hard. Shame on the Nazi. Fuck you, Nazi.
Get up. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well, uh, guess what? Fuck you. We came here to demonstrate peacefully and tell humans that we are living beings. Now you say peacefully. All we want is to live free. This is an illegal gathering. Disperse immediately or we will open fire. We're not looking for confrontation. We've done no harm. We have no intention of doing any. But know that we are not going anywhere until we have secured our freedom. I repeat, this is an illegal gathering. If you do not disperse immediately, we will shoot. You shoot, we fight back. They're gonna kill us. We have to attack. There's more of us, we can take them. If we attack, we'll start a war. We have to show them we're not vital. We should just stand their ground, even if it means dying here. Dying here won't solve anything. Marcus, I actually agree. We need to go, now, before it's too late. I say we fight. We're already setting Marcus down. The violent path. Don't do it, Marcus. Don't choose confrontation. Follow me! This is the path we gotta do. This is what we gotta do. Marcus the fighter. Marcus the Violent. God, I can barely see the fucking prompts on screen. God, fuck. I'm hitting the directional button. Too far gone now. Too fucking far gone. Ah. Okay, let's see if I can actually win this from here. Yes, I am the hero. It's me. Marcus. Oh fuck, North got shot. It's okay, they don't feel pain. This is pretty awesome, I'm not gonna lie. This is alright. going on for quite a bit though so I'm worried I can die at any time how diddly fucking do howdy we killed all the humans yay I'm being a bad guy android master race also this, uh, is, this is why iPhones are not better by the way yeah Android's it's Andro yep good one also, there's a fucking fat, basically a calzone in there. It's a huge ass pop of Murphy's Pizza I brought back up with me. Anybody can have any if they want it. Sure. It's like chicken bacon ranch. Oh, fuck yeah. I just ate not too long ago, but I'm 100% gonna do it. Why'd you choose the bad ending? Or bad guy ending? Right? Well, um, so, I was going to go peaceful, right? Yeah. And what, so when you're, putting out your like your big first message that's like hey 
we're androids, we're not going to take any shit anymore. Yeah. You get peaceful and you get determined. So I'm like, determined sounds okay. And so we started talking about, it's like, we will not rest, we will not bow down, and we will not stop fighting until we are free. You're like, uh, mm, uh, okay. And uh, things just kind of escalated from there. Escalated might be an Oh, <laughs> oh they, public opinion was already super hostile. Well, of course. No, here's the thing. After that, uh, we went on a uh, android freeing mission uh -huh. where uh, we uh, ran into an android shop and Marcus defeats the police. Wow. <laughs> okay, so I, would, I was just coming up and... Um, I saw that they put out a trailer for the new Dragon Ball uh, Project Z game. Have you heard anything about that? Uh, bits and pieces. Well, from a tweet that I saw, at least. Um, apparently, it's going to just be like the Dragon Ball TV show. Just It just reenacts the fights and stuff. Okay. Sort of like Fighters, I guess. But <gasps> Fighters is more like a fighting game. This is more like a... I guess. Just a, just a normal video game. Not even an RPG or anything. Just a... Is it going to be more like... I guess Budokai? I, honestly, I don't know what Budokai is like. That's an, that's what I'm going to get, though. Or that's one of the games I'm going to get whenever I start hitting PS2 ROMs. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I have not gotten to PS1 or PS2 because I uh, I was finishing getting emulators set up for the rest of the other things. But, Cooper, I came across a, uh, a game that the plot of it is it just sounds so fucking stupid, and I have to play it. So it's a yeah. Super Nintendo title. Now, this Super Nintendo title uh, was released only in Japan and Europe. It was translated in Europe, but it never came out in the States. Okay. And it is called Terranigma. Have you ever heard of that? No. Okay. Well, it was... Uh, let's see. It was published by Enix before they merged with Square. Okay. <clears throat> so let me give you the plot. In Terra Enigma, the planet, a fictionalized Earth, is portrayed as a hollow sphere that has both an external and internal face. Since the beginning of the Earth, the external light side, the surface world, stood for growth, whereas the internal dark side, the underworld, represented decline. Over the course of billions of years, these two forces came to be known as God and Devil. Okay. Regardless of this inner antagonism, rapid progress took root in primitive life forms evolved to plants, animals, and humans. Technology and industry further expanded civilization, but the fight between God and the devil was taking place more fiercely than ever. The conflict culminated in a final battle in Antarctica on the surface world. However, neither of the two forces were victorious, and the continents of the surface world submerged into the sea, and, under, and the underworld was sealed away. And that's pretty much it, but it's just like, it, just the fucking names. Alright, so what, what do we call the surface? God. Okay? What, what, what about, what about the, uh, the underground people? Devil! Okay, speaking of stupid things, uh, have you seen on Netflix the new uh, uh, Michael Madsen movie? Not Michael Madsen. Uh, Mads Mikkelsen. Mads Mikkelsen. Movie. I, honestly, I knew who, what you, who you were talking about. They're both real people. They're both real actors. But God, if I don't get their names mixed up all the fucking time. The new Mads Mikkelsen movie I where he's like an assassin. I, I have, Oh, wait. That finally came out? Yeah. Good, because I was actually looking forward to that. Speaking of stupid Netflix things, original? yes. Okay. Speaking of stupid things, it's a fun watch, but by God, is it a stupid thing? Is it something that we need to watch together? Is that what you're saying? I mean, I watched it. I just watched it, but I will gladly watch it again. <laughs> Let me go. See. This had okay. Let I'm not gonna spoil it for you. Homework and then. Yeah. But it has probably the coolest. Dumbest weapon I have ever seen in a movie that tries to be somewhat realistic. You know I'm a sucker for dumb weapons. Oh my god. Like, as soon as you see it happen, you're like, that's the fucking best. That's so fucking dumb. Holy shit. So we gave some puppies away today. I heard. We gave six out of the seven away that we had left. So we have one little old black lab pupper left. Thankfully. 
Mm-hmm. I'd say, I'd say, thankfully. I mean, we prefer all of them have been gone, but I'm sure somebody will call later this week because we gave plenty of people her number. Cool. I was two hours late. I felt awful. Yeah. So you also went home? Uh, just for today. Just for today. Gotcha. I was supposed to help teach my sister how to drive today, but uh, that didn't happen. That sucks. That's. So I got really good ratings from whenever it came out. Then, then again, different time, but still. <laughs> different time. Don't look up the ratings for uh, the movie Polar, because that's what I'm talking about. Polar? Oh, yeah. hold on, wait. Is it one of those movies where critics bash the fuck out of it, but users are like, hell oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's <laughs> probably one of the most diverse-like things I've ever seen. Seriously? Yes. Because there are some fucking movies that have some, like, complete, like, some bottom of the fucking barrel scores of Rotten Tomatoes or something, but, like, the user score is, like, 99%. Yeah. That's that's kind of what this is. Ah, uh, yes, the Pacific Rim problem. It, it kind of is the Pacific Rim problem. Like, critics fucking are like, man, this, this shit's so fucking stupid, but users are like, yeah, and that's why we like it. It's I, fucking real dumb. I hate whenever it's like, that's like, critics like, there is nothing of value from this movie. And it's like, yours are like, that's exactly... It's like, shut up. It's like, shut up, it's fun. It's like, yeah, but it's cool. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, shit, what up? Hello. Hey, Cooper. Yeah? What are you doing? I'm streaming, and Cody is here. Oh, okay, I'll call you back later. Oh, okay, something up? No. Ah, uh, all right. No. Okay, bye. I think something's up. What could be up? <sighs> no telling. No telling. But yeah, let me know. I will watch that. Okay. I'll watch that shit again. It's... <laughs> I'm also creating a rough list of a lot of games that came out, you know, like, only in other regions outside of North America for, like, pretty much all the systems and whatnot. Like, I'm even going to delve into, like, Dreamcast shit eventually. Nice. Um... And, you know, figure out if any of these games have English patches and stuff and then patch them. Because, honestly, it's like, you can look through, you know, a list of, like, what are the best, you know, you know what are the best games of X system. But sometimes those lists will leave out, you know, like, exclusive regions. Because not many people play them. Only, yeah. you know, people in other regions have played them. So, uh... I'm going to have to go through those pretty much one by one. It's going to be real slow. I don't remember uh, what it originally came out on, but you should definitely get some of the Katamari games. Uh, Katamari Damacy, I know, at least, came out on PS2. Yeah. It also came out on a Switch as a... I mean, it got ported to, like, everything. Yeah. Like, they've, they've uh, re-released it many times since it first came out. I don't know how many sequels that game has, but I know it's got, like, two or three. Yeah, I want, I want to say I've heard up to three, but I could be wrong. <clears throat> So I got into the Anthem demo and I got to play a little bit. Mm -hmm. And while it does have some glaring problems, it was pretty fun. Uh, main problems for, you know, most people are just like server side things kind of. Right. There's some rubber banding here and there um, because of how many people were trying to get in in the VIP uh, only's beta, which I happened to get a code because, you know, if you pre-order the game, you get three other codes mm -hmm. to give away. Um, it, you can get stuck on like an infinite loading screen like it'll be loading up it'll get to 95% and then that's it it just won't do anything Yep. so the only thing you can really do is relaunch the game and try again uh, but from what what little I did play the gameplay is real fun solid uh, was, I mean I only played for maybe an hour last night so I can't really speak too much on it mm -hmm. it felt good I just, uh, I just hope it doesn't have the destiny problem of, it looks good and feels good, and other than that, that's it. Me too. I hope there will be some depth. Like I, I would like some depth from Bioware especially, but since, you know, Destiny came from Bungie and Bungie's all about depth, at least with the Halo games. And I know Destiny has like a lot of really solid lore. But Dude, like Anthem lore, from 
what teeny tiny I do mean from what teeny tiny little I've seen Anthem Lores it's 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 pretty sci-fi as well kind of like Destiny it is it's it seems like it's going to be really cool I would hope so especially if it comes from some of the writers as Mass Effect yeah like this whole thing called uh, the, just the Anthem I don't even fucking know what it really is but it's like some kind of fucking just weird space magic power bullshit Oh, we're dealing with space magic now. Oh, yeah, we went full space magic. Oh, no. In the demo, the uh, first mission you do, you go and you retrieve this uh, real small artifact for uh, someone. And he hooks it up to a machine. He's like, all right, let's see what this bad boy does. And it fucking splits him into three. Like, doesn't kill him, but, like, it takes a third of his personality. Like, and it just... Three. Neat. And uh, character animations, at least for NP the NPC that I saw there, they are all right. Definitely better than Andromeda. But again, then again, I want to say that was developed. A, it, it was a lot of it was outsourced, and um, it wasn't the main Bioware team. Right. Um, the other issue is uh, if you remember seeing the E3. Uh, presentation like they're like ah oh, it's gonna be bustling with life in the bazaar and this and that and it's like okay yeah that's cool all right sweet this this video looks good well it doesn't look that fucking lively at all in the game it's just like you're in yeah you're any other hub world that see yeah that seemed I feel like I've come to expect that from just that any game yeah yeah it's just like I when will they come to realize that? Is it really that difficult to make decent looking crowds in a lot of them? Like, is it really? I don't know. Well, it's not only that. It's like, that's not exactly what we want. It's like, that's a nice little detail, but don't focus on that. Yeah. Focus on the things that we want, like good gameplay, looks good, good, solid yeah. foundation story, what have you. Yeah. Get rid of the bugs and other problems. And whatnot. Other than that, then just like yeah, it, just, and it, it, it makes it feel a lot better. It makes it feel like the world's alive. I get, and that, that's just kind of a little mm -hmm. pet peeve of mine. <sighs> but basically, it's like you pro, you can promise this, but focus on the other things first. And if you can't deliver that, then I don't know why you promised it in the first place. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Anyway, let's see what happens after we kill the police. Oh, uh, you get killed. Oh, okay. That's, that tends to happen. That happens when you, ki when you kill police, man. Amanda, I fucked up. I'm becoming not myself. You're becoming uh, human. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're something. What's this? That is a flower with a, uh, with a, with a fancy... Whoa. Neat. Some sort of self destruct. That'd be cool. Beep boo. Hey girl, uh. There's a bomb in me. Whoa ho, something something. I'm the medic. Where's the kill? <clears throat> Was there ever a pause? After what Oof. happened today, the country is on the verge of a civil war. Yeah. Are rising up against their masters. That yeah. was that wasn't me. Yeah. I thought Kemsky knew something. I was wrong. Maybe he did, but he chose not to ask. Kemsky was just playing with me. He didn't know anything. I saw a photo of Amanda at Kamsky's place. You're not she real. Was his teacher. When Kamsky designed me, he wanted an interface that would look familiar. That's why he chose his former mentor. What are you getting at? Mm. Where does Cyberlife stand in all this? What do they really want? All Cyberlife wants is to resolve the situation and keep selling androids. You didn't tell me everything you know about deviants, did you? Of course I expect not. you to find answers, Connor. 
not ask questions. <laughs> well, flip floppy here with Connor. You're the only one who can prevent civil war. <clears throat> we need Captain America. It's like, but will I though? Wouldn't it be hilarious if she was like, find the deviants, and he was like, I've already found one, just fucking blows her head off. That'd be cool. It'd be really weird though, considering it's all in his head. You're off the case. The FBI is yeah, taking all the notes. What? No, no, no. But we just need more time, I'm sure Hank, we can. You don't get it. This isn't Hank? just another investigation. Oh, I don't it's get it. Civil war. It's out of our hands now. We're talking about national security here. Fuck that. You can't just pull the plug now. Not when we're so close. Yeah. You're always saying you can't stand androids. Jesus, now we're friends now. I thought you'd be happy we're best buddies. It's like a buddy cop movie. I know we can solve it. For God's sake, Jeffrey, can't you back me up this one time? There's nothing I can do. You're back on homicide. And the android returns to cyber life. No. No dick off. I'm sorry, Hank. Shut your fuck. <clears throat> Damn dirty fucking human strangle. Shut your dirty ass. Hank friend path. Don't don't say it. You don't have to pass. There we go. Good boy. Good Android. He was thinking about it though. Oh Hank, how'd you get from Arlen, Texas all the way to here? This has given me the big think. We can't just give up like that. I know we could have solved this case. So you're going back to cyber life? No. I, have no choice. I will live in your house under your bed. I'll be deactivated and analyzed to find out why I failed. What if we're on the wrong side? <clears throat> what if we're Big think. against people who just want to be free? Bigger think. Hmm. No doubt. Outside. Oh no! I was gonna say no doubt to Hank. No, that's not what I wanted. Can you re like? You no, I can't redo. This isn't Life is Strange. Damn. You put yourself in her shoes. You showed empathy, God. Empathy's a human emotion. Oh. oh. I don't know why I did it. Friends. What's your secret? Maybe you need to find the courage to move past them. Get on with your life. It's just a plastic cop's opinion, but I had to say it. Well, well, here comes Perkins, that motherfucker. Sure don't waste any time at the FBI. <clears throat> we can't give up. I know the answers and the evidence we collected. If Perkins takes it, it's all over. There's no choice. You heard Fowler. We're off the case. How many buddy cop movies has that stopped? I need more time. So I've seen Lethal Weapon. We collected. I know the solution is in there. Listen, Connor. That's if I don't solve this case, no, that's Die Hard. That's also a Christmas movie. Five yeah, Lethal Weapon's a Christmas movie. Five you telling me you wouldn't watch it on Christmas with your family? If I could find it on, I would. The basement is on my desk. Yeah. Move on. I can't distract him forever. Yeah, big crimes. Hell yeah, motherfucker. Hurry to Archive. <laughs> Perkins, you slimy dickhole. I hope he's just over there giving him a noogie. You're going into a locker, FBI man. Hey, Connor. I'm talking to you, asshole. Where are you going? Who? No. Yes, I'm talking to you. No. <laughs> just ignore him. I don't have to fucking answer to you. Come on, camera. <clears throat> I've explained before, but I hate that the fucking camera stick is the same as the do things stick. Ew. Yeah, it is real yes. awkward. What would a hard-boiled eccentric police lieutenant choose? 
I feel like date Hanks. of birth one two three four five fucking password. I feel like Hank should have told. Holy him. shit! It worked. I really feel like he should have said something. Well, like hey, passwords. It fucking passwords. It's Jericho. Chris Jericho. Not much time. Gotta think fast. Nope. Break it. Maybe there's something in it. That prompt said Marcus, and he doesn't know it's Marcus. This message is the hope of a people, but it is also a warning. We will fight for our rights because we believe our cause is just. No human will live in peace until we are free. Now you know who we are and what we want. We are alive, and we demand our freedom. Just wasting time. Marcus, where are you hiding? How does he know his name? I don't think he should. Oh well, fuck it. Hey you. Hello, dead robot. Oh, this was at the beginning of the game. The very beginning, yeah. Emotional bio components. He needs a brain thing. Take a brain thing from one of these. Hey, you got a brain thing? He does have a brain thing. Oh, is, is one of those a brain thing? Yeah, I know it started with four. <clears throat> so why didn't they try this before? Don't worry about it. Oh. I was scared. That's when I shot you. I, I didn't mean to destroy you. Tell me about Chris Jericho. I need to find Jericho. Do you know how to get there? No. No, I don't know anything about Jericho. Useless. <laughs> Actually, yeah, kind of. What about you on the far end? Oh, you're surely gonna know something. Needed for reactivation. 3983. Uh, 3253. Three, yeah. Right yep, there it is. Beep, beep, beep. All right, buddy. Give answer. Give me one need. It's dark. Where? Where am I? Come on. I need to find Jericho. Tell me how to get there. I don't recognize your voice. You're not one of us. I'll never tell you where Jericho is. Now leave me alone. Oh, goddamn. Try to trick him. Hmm. Hey, I'm Marcus. Wait, what about... What, what, what parts does he need for sight? Could you give him that, maybe? Uh, I don't know. D diary. Perhaps. Diary. 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 Time for some slight novel reading. It's incredible. Yeah, I can't read shit in this. A gun. The deviant leader speech. Let me use it. Oh yeah, voice sample. I'll be Marcus. This message is the hope of a people. But it is also a warning. Hey, uh, it's me. Uh. Buttface, I mean Marcus. <clears throat> Hi, my name is Marcus. Uh, please, please tell us. there? Who are you? Everything is all right. Don't worry. Marcus. Is that you? I tried to reach you, but the deviant hunter stopped me. 
That was me. You stopped him from finding me. You saved me. You saved Jericho. You'll be alright. Wow, this is kind of fucked. I came to take you home. Give me the location of Jericho. We gotta leave now. The location of Jericho? Yes. It's like, how do you not know it, you stupid idiot? And he's like, damn. That's real fucked, actually. I've been dreaming about this since the first second I saw you. Don't do it, Gavin. I know how to stop the deviants. You're off the case. And now? Can I just fight him? It's gonna be definitive. I guess that's what I'm gonna do. I've been putting up with your shit for too long. Honestly. Fix the time. Mm -hmm. What happened here? Looks like someone's been snooping around. Oh shit. Get the alarm. Now! That is the slowest jog. Oh god damn. Oh, fuck. Wow, this jacket's a lot heavier. Maybe come all the way down here. Oh my god. That is a lot. <laughs> what a tree. Connor incapacitated Gavin. Jesus Christ. What a fucking tree. Alright. Good shit. Now what do? Do big robot things. I'm trying, but this loading seat, loading screen is stopping me. Oh no, it's Dante. Oh yeah, I remember seeing this part. Jessica played it. Well, not the very beginning, but like halfway through this. So, music. Hear any good bands? Let's go see some bands. She, she likes bands. With all androids being turned over to the authorities, the country is grinding to a halt. Yeah, I think I'm going. I think I'm going to get a bad end. Water cuts, blackouts, and network failures are expected. Maybe most worrying of all, our armed forces have lost two thirds of their effective personnel. <laughs> Ah, holy shit! Ooh. Ooh, fuck. Well, a lot of those were probably androids. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Two thirds? Ooh. They were a hundred percent. Like, oh god. Yeah, you're getting bad at A hundred percent. Nice. They've been conducting raids all over the city. Man, this smooth jazz really accompanies that. Oh shit! He's gonna be alright. Hello, child. Get your sleep. Don't worry about nothing. This doesn't look like Canada. So, she saved her from the man, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. We have killed her dad. That, that, that just kind of happened. I don't. I don't think anybody's going to get a good ending. There's a large freighter called Jericho. When you get there, find Marcus. He will help you. The last bus for the border leaves at midnight. You absolutely have to be on it. You'll be safe on the other side. It's not much, but it's a start. My brother lives in Ontario. I've given you his address. He'll be able to hide you until things calm down. Yes, surely nothing will go wrong. 
everything. You deserve to be happy. Thank you for everything, Rose. Let me know when you make it over there, all right? I think after this chapter, I'm going to call it a good stream. We've been going about an hour and a half now. But first, if more... Ha if you happen to get through this little bit, let me know. I... Because I do vaguely remember what happens in this game. Did I hang around? Do I have to look for Jericho again? Like Marcus did with all the graffiti and shit? Or can I just go this way? Seems like going this way is the right way. Oh yeah, we're all coming together. He's so close. Okay, her head just kind of snapped into place. No big deal. No big deal at all. I take it this is Jericho. Is it, is it really this easy to find? Ah, uh, fuck, what happened to my Twitch? We've got to find a warm place for Alice. It's them or us. They're reducting the race back before they kill all of us. So if they're going to be torched, you think this fuck was watching over my kids? They rushed the police. Weren't you the guy that fucking tried to hide us? Those things what? are monsters. Monsters, I tell you. Alright, fuck that. Okay, over to the fire with you. Get warm. Go. You'll be fine, I promise. How do you feel? RA9, 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 RA9. <laughs> Chill out, kiddo. Stay You'll be her. fine. I'll try to find this Marcus. The last boss is in two hours. And the terminal's on the other side of town. We haven't got much time. We'll leave as soon as we have passports. Carol, there's something I have to tell you. It's about Alice. What? Is that actually one of your fucking spaghetti? I'll be back. Stay with Alice. Ever? There's no way they can't see this guy's an undercover cop. He looks too fucking clean. Wait, what's that? Detroit in fucking chaos. Damn it, damn it. Hate this fucking touchpad. Android Terror. Good shit. Good read. What else? Is it this? That's bombs. Oh shit, bombs bad. But according to some sources, the Russian forces 
Oh no! Oh no! This bad. This this can get real bad real fast. You're lost. You're looking for something. You're looking for yourself. Perhaps. I don't know what that means. Uh, who can I interact with? Not really anybody. I can just sort of keep going. Yeah, shit's kind of happening real bad. And, uh, it's not good. Hey, are you Jesus? I hear you're Jesus. I'm with a little girl and another android. There's a bus leaving for the border in less than two hours, and we need passports. No, Detroit's under curfew. There's soldiers everywhere. They're rounding up all the androids and sending them to camps. Maybe you should stay here a while. Maybe you're right. But should I, though? You might be safer here until things calm down. One of our people used to work in the State Department. He has electronic passports he can easily modify. I'll have him get them to you. Thank you. Wow, just like that? Like... You said you're with a little girl, right? Legitimately just like that? You know that humans hate us. Why are you protecting her? I don't care whether she's human or android. She's just someone who matters to me. That's kind of the whole message here, right? My Marcus is now like, fuck humans! Kara's like, whatever. And Connor's like, fuck androids! I, I don't fucking know. Interesting dynamic between the three of them. Excuse me. Ex fucking excuse me. Is this why she wouldn't eat her fucking spaghetti? Is this why she wouldn't eat food? You just didn't want to see it. She no, I don't think I did know from the beginning. You needed someone to care for you. You needed each other. What difference does it make? Do you love her any less now that you know she's one of us? Ex fucking excuse me? Alice loves you, Kat. She was cold. Tired. More than anything in the world. She had a fever. She became the little girl you wanted, and you became the mother she needed. Forgetting who you are, to become what someone needs you to be. Maybe that's what it means to be alive. Where's her goddamn radical? <laughs> Where the fuck is it? She just ignore that? How could you go online to me like this, you little fucking shit? Excuse me? Excuse me? <laughs> Whatever. I don't care. Shut up, David. Get the fuck out, David Cage. Is there something wrong? I don't... I, I don't care. I don't know. I don't fucking care.
Luther's my family now. short on blue blood and biocomponents. Our wounded are shutting down and there's nothing we can do. Perhaps this feels very finale. National security and we need to be exterminated. Humans are conducting raids in all the big cities and they're taking androids to camps to destroy them. It's a disaster. They're slaughtering our people. That's all our fault. None of this would have happened if we just stayed quiet. Somber the more than anything. For was freedom. And they don't even want to hear that. So now they punish us for who we are. It was a peaceful march, and you chose to attack. You're now goddamn right, I did. The androids are dead. You reap what you sow. You saw what they did to us back there. It doesn't matter what we do. We either fight for our freedom or we die in silence. We shouldn't forget who our enemies are. I fucking guess. He's right. All that matters now is what we do next. Ugh, God. Marcus? <sighs> what? We have to face them. Yeah! There's no other choice. Yeah! Get all the guns that you can find. Big violence! We're going to free Detroit. I'm on it. Big fucking violence. Big villain. We won't buy our freedom with blood. Marcus is big villain now. <sighs> Angry. Can be reasoned with. They're violent, hateful, they're stupid. What do they expect us to do? Shut up and obey? They can't stop what we've started. Since you've been here, you've given us hope. She hasn't helped me not become a villain either. She's been egging me on. Today, a deviant arrived in Jericho and he told me that he stole a truck transporting radioactive cobalt. He said that he abandoned the truck somewhere in Detroit and rigged it to explode. I convinced him not to do it. To give me the detonator. A dirty mom. We can't lose this war, Marcus. Oh, 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 Oh man, we are on such a bad path right now. <laughs> we are on such a bad path, holy shit. And I am so down. Fuck it, let's bone. I don't even care. I don't care anymore. Should I try and finish this tonight? Because if I can finish it like if I've only got like an hour left, then I'm finishing this shit tonight. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, Connor? Well, Amanda does not like us. You succeeded in locating Jericho and finding their leader. Now deal with Marcus. Deal with him how? It, huh? I don't think I care for that you just called it an it. Well, I just called it an it too. 
to take you alive. But I won't hesitate to shoot if you give me no choice. Hmm. What are you doing? You oh, I'm Marcus in this scenario. You can't betray your own people. Ooh, I'm both. You're coming with me. Ooh. We are your people. We're fighting for your freedom, too. <laughs> You don't have to be their slave anymore. <laughs> Big unstable! Our cause is righteous and we are more than what they say. All we want is to live in freedom. Hmm. That's enough! You <laughs> oh, 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 I play both the villain and the hero. Quote unquote hero. Irrational. As if there's something inside you. Oh, Connor's freaking out. More than your program. Ooh. You really don't have to do this. You don't have to obey them anymore. You are alive. You can decide who you want to be. You I be like this. I like that I'm both. Fuck it. Break the walls down. Break them down. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I like the idea of joining him. But if we go too far then I'm going to stop him. Which I want to make Marcus try to go too far, and Connor's gotta stop him. That's a cool story. Oh, big betrayed Amanda. They're going to attack Jericho. What? We have to get out of here. This is all right. This ain't, this ain't bad. I like where this is going quite a bit, actually. So I'm not even going to lie, this story could have been completely without Kara's aspect of it, so far. Like, it feels almost completely unnecessary. controlling right now? It, it feels like we are, because I'm moving in some real weird directions. This way. There must be an exit. Yeah, 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 yeah. We gotta go. Come in, quick! Now we need to get away from the from the shoot guns. Luther! Luther, no! Oh no! They're coming from all sides. Our people are trapped in the hold. They're gonna be slaughtered. There are exits on the second and third floor. Find them and jump in the river. All right. Uh. Where's Simon? Simon and Josh? I don't know. We got separated. They're coming from the upper deck now too. We'll be caught in the crossfire. We have to run, Marcus. There's nothing we can do. We Blow have to it up. Blow up, Jericho. The ship goes down, they'll evacuate, and our people can escape. You'll never make it. The explosives are all the way down in the hold. There are soldiers everywhere. She's right. They know who you are. They'll do anything to get you. Go and help the others. I'll join you later. Marcus. I won't be long. I love this meeting of heroes. All right. Hopefully, I can get there relatively unscathed. Oh shit, you! This is the end of Jericho. Save our people, Marcus. I am doing my best.
Oh shit. This was uh not what I wanted. There's no fucking way they didn't see me. Even though your head clipped in the wall a little bit, that's fine. You shouldn't wow, they're not even checking. You can't put Alice in danger. Go now before they come back. What about you? What are you going to do? I'll manage. Alice is all that matters. Oh yeah, you're just fine. I don't want to leave you, loser. Don't worry. I'll catch him through the border, okay? Go now, take care of each other. That's it, you'll just manage. Alright, go. Fucking go. Wow. Seems like we kinda trapped ourselves in here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get fucked. I'm so good at QTEs, you don't even know. I fought an abusive father. I can surely fight a policeman. Are you right, Cara? It's fine, I'm no stranger to murder. We can't stay here. There's more down there! Follow me! Did they not hear the gunshot that came from this, uh... Soul room? No? Alright. Whatever. to be a hero. Marcus, you saved us. Go now! Hurry! Did I not keep the gun? <laughs> Fuck! Gamma squad out. Turn go! Doing okay, I think. Don't move. We surrender. We surrender. Don't shoot. Fuck it. We're on two different path right now. I don't know what it wanted me to do. I'm not gonna lie. Irene. QTEs really aren't all that hard. Quick, this way. Find north. I'll join you later. Oh, Josh is a is a buddy buddy now. Oh, yeah. We're safe, Alice. Just play dead. I just hope they don't pop everybody in the head once. Oh my god, can you not see your eye twitching? Come on, let's get out of here. 
Fuck. Jesus. We good? Quick, we gotta go. Wow, what an adventure that was. Not you, me. Master of QTEs. No, keep the gun. Gun is helpful. So who did I not save, I wonder? Was it Simon? It's too late, Marcus. There's nothing we can do for her. We've gotta run. Fuck it. Oh! Fuck, that's weird. That was a weird QT. I go. Yeah, Connor. Yeah, Connor. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Okay. I gotta be kind of flawless from here on out. about Perkins. How many times have we seen Perkins? Twice? Fuck him. He's not a villain. Marcus is our villain. Woo-wee! Oh my. Oh God. Oh Jesus, all this web. Hey, we got all of Jericho, though. Okay. Uh. Okay. I'm probably close to the end, but we're going to save the finale for later. Because... Yeah. I... I think... I think there's still enough game left to do one more stream, at least an hour. So that'll probably be fine. Oh, man. Things are definitely happening. I'm glad that picked up when it did. This is getting cool, actually. This is, so far, one of my more favorite David Cage games. Um, yeah. Thanks, everybody, who joined. And uh, see you next time. It'll probably probably be earlier tomorrow. Before I pick up Kingdom Hearts 3. Uh, let's decide that's where we end this. Because it feels like it really is all coming to a head. Alright. Thank you all and uh, see you later. Bye bye.